Welcome back to the channel guys. Look, before you click off of this video as you see just what you think is a cheap mini RC car, give me a second here. When the guys over at Bezgar, that's how I'm pronouncing it, contacted me about this thing, I thought, you know, this is another one of those little cheap kind of toy wannabe hobby grade RCs, but started looking more into this thing and I think it may be pretty cool as a beginner truck. I'm gonna get into it here. This is the first one that I've ever seen that's brushless. Yep, the size of it coming in a little smaller than the Mini E Revo that I had way back in the day, long before YouTube. I feel like it could be a pretty fun little truck with the brushless power. Another thing you may notice is oil filled shocks. Another really cool thing to see in a vehicle at this price point. Looks like we have a lot of metal parts, including drive shafts, center shaft, adjustable turnbuckles for the steering. This is a lot packed in a really small package. It comes with this 3S 1050 milliamp lipo pack that is conveniently shaped so it sits in this battery compartment and stays in place. I'm sure we could fit some other lipos in there as well. A couple little foam blocks and we'll be able to fit all kinds of different lipos in there. Looks like we have a 4200 kV brushless motor. I'm not sure on the amperage of the speed controller, but it looks like a pretty nice size system for such a small truck. The motor actually takes up half of the chassis. Kind of simple standard design tub chassis with a center shaft here. I'm assuming we're gonna have a slipper clutch or some kind of output to that center shaft here. And then front and rear diffs, I believe. Yep. Even some nice soft rubber tires, which the last one that I checked out didn't have. This truck seems like it has some potential. It's pretty promising. Interested to see how it will run. It includes a transmitter, albeit a lightweight, sort of cheap feeling transmitter like you normally get with these cars. One thing to note on that transmitter though is there is a limit switch, so to say. The on off switch here has a 70% and 100%. So say you were giving this to a kid first time running an rc brushless at this size might not be the best thing for them you can drop it down to 70 percent and it'll be a little more manageable for them speaking of manageable i was really kind of surprised to see this in the package i was expecting it to be pretty powerful being brushless at this size but they include a wheelie bar how cool is that? It looks like it's adjustable as well with three holes here. Check out the height. We're gonna test this thing out without the wheelie bar first and maybe put it on if it needs it, we'll see. Besides that, I think it's time to charge that battery and head out and see if this thing lives up to the height. Well, this thing definitely has some power. I basically had to put the wheelie bar on right away. Didn't get too far without it because it's hard to keep the front wheels on the ground. That 70% mode on the transmitter would actually be pretty useful. I love the portability of this thing you saw. I strapped it to my backpack and hit it out on a bicycle into the field actually. Super easy to tote around. The one issue with the portability, I guess, is because of the size, it doesn't handle rough terrain super well. You saw out in the field there, I had to kind of roll up to the jump kind of slow before giving it throttle to 
hit the jump. If not, it's kind of rough and all over the place. The suspension does soak up bumps pretty well, but when you're dealing with rougher terrain, it's just nothing something this size can do. But if you're in the market for something this size, I don't think you'd be too worried about that. Still, all in all, the truck jumped pretty well. The power, like I said, was just more than I even expected. I think the little bitty dirt jump I made using basically just my hands and feet launched this thing pretty far. I was able to do backflips really easily. And then when we got it out onto the concrete, you could really see the power in this thing. I had no trouble gaining traction anywhere. These soft rubber tires worked really well. Grass, dirt, concrete, all of it. Truck hooked up and was ready to flip over backwards every time I pulled the throttle. It's actually pretty quick for something this size. I didn't actually plot the speed on it, but it felt really fast and was actually pretty easy to handle even at speed. I had the most fun on the concrete with this thing. Just hitting those little curb jumps, clearing that little platform and even backflipping over it as you saw. I was actually a little disappointed when the low voltage mode kicked in and I ran out of battery. Even durability wise, I rolled this thing a whole lot. I actually hit that curb at close to full throttle one time, clipped it with the left front tire, and I didn't break anything. The only reason why I stopped running was because the battery died. So needless to say, this little thing's pretty impressive. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised, I guess you could say. I think this platform has some potential. I'm not sure what they have in the way of aftermarket support for it. I honestly haven't looked online to see what they have in the way of replacement parts either, if you were to break anything, but I'll probably be looking into that soon because I actually have a little bit of a build idea with this thing. I have way too many builds going on right now. So that'll be later in the future, but I have some ideas that could be fun with this little truck. But as a small 1 16th ish scale brushless truck, I'd say this thing's pretty impressive. It comes with a pretty powerful system and a lot of nice things like those shocks and the metal drivetrain that I mentioned before. Thank you again to the guys from Besgar for sending this thing out to me. If you're interested in the truck, want to know more about it, you can check out the link down below. If you use the link down in my description below, you'll actually get 10% off of this truck when purchasing. The code should automatically be applied to your cart if you use the link down below. I can't believe such a little truck like this I had so much fun with and actually came up with another project idea with. But I got enough projects to worry about right now. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you think about these little trucks like this. Where do they fit in with the hobby? Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my projects and upcoming videos. And as always, thanks again for watching. Peace.